Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, as I discussed in my last video, doing makeup is really hard for me right now. Um, I've upgraded to a brace on my hand, but it is time for my Thursday upload. I could not con anybody into doing my makeup. And it looks like y'all are stuck with me and the best I can come up with today. So what we are going to do is we're going to take a face chart from Milk1422. Um, if you look at face charts at all on Instagram, if you know what those are, you're going to know who he is. And I took a simple one that I think should be pretty easy to do and shouldn't kill my hand. And uh, we're going to try to recreate it real quick. And I might even make this into a series and just progressively start doing harder and harder face charts. But here's the one for today. I thought this was really pretty, moderately simple, probably not nearly as simple as it looks, but moderately, and I decided that I could use a palette that I haven't used on my channel before. So we are going to start off with the face and then I will get into the eyes. So the contour on her is pretty dark. So I'm going to take my shade and light palette and mix the middle shade and this shade so the middle and the darkest and mix them together and try to kind of bronze and contour a little bit darker than what I normally do which may look terrible because I'm so pasty so we're going to tap this off and just try to dig into this okay and I don't think that's too, too bad. So, do the other side. This is where it hurts, you guys. Like, I can't... It hurts. But we are going to get through this <laughs> today. Okay. And then I'm going to take just the middle shade and go ahead and do this up here. You can't really tell on the picture how much is done up here, but I would assume to get the right structure, I need to do at least a little bit on my forehead and my chin. And also on my nose. Okay, so that is going to be our contour, and I'll put that over here, and we're going to go ahead and take this blush I've been using lately to get that really rosy color in the picture. We're going to use this one right here. This is called Fearless, and we're going to pack that on a little heavier than usual, just so that we can get that really rosy color if I can get it to work. There we go. That's a pigment. Okay, and her highlighter is Golden and Blinding. So I thought, what better time to use my favorite highlighter, Rodeo Drive, than for this video. So we are going to use that, and we're going to highlight all of the high points with an extra bit more than usual on the nose and the Cupid's bow. <clears throat> And since I know this makeup is going to be probably pretty mediocre, I wanted to be sure this was a kind of chatty video. I wish I had asked for questions in my last one, and I could have done a Q&A, but I thought I was going to do something else, so I didn't. But, um... I don't know, I guess I could tell y'all a little bit about me while I 
attempt to recreate this beautiful work of art with a messed up hand. Um, hmm. Well, before I do that, um, we are going to go next, I guess, straight into our eyes. And I'm going to use this Morphe 35W. Uh, I've actually never even taken the plastic off of this palette. Uh, and it's just your normal warm colors. This is like one of the OG Morphe palettes, I'm pretty positive. But I'm just going to dip into some darker colors, just some dark browns, maybe the black, just to get that crease action going. And I'm not going to use a transition shade. I just want to do this look. But okay, so stuff about me, because I haven't really told y'all a whole lot about my life. Um, okay, I'll start with how I hurt my hand. I told y'all it was at CrossFit. Um, I do CrossFit like every day. You can't tell because I'm not super in shape, but I promise I do it. Um, I was trying to like lift this sandball type thing and I like twisted my wrist, which was terrible and it hurt. And I twisted it on like rep number three, maybe. But I'm really stubborn, so I went all the way to rep 40 and finished my workout and probably did a lot more damage than good, if we're being honest. But I wanted to finish, and I did finish that and all three other parts. But now my wrist doesn't work, so I don't know if that's, uh, I don't think I won there. But CrossFit's super important to me. That's like, other than makeup, probably my only hobby, I guess. Uh, I do it every day after work. And that's a lot of fun. Um, hmm, other important things. Y'all have met a couple of my fur babies on here, I believe. You've met... Maybe you've only met one. I think you've only met Ryder. But I have three cats and two dogs, and they are amazing and I love them I've always been an animal person when I was a kid I wanted to be a vet until I had a really traumatic run-in where I saw like a cat kill well, not kill I saw a cat like destroy this old lady's legs and it freaked me out so bad I got so scared that I didn't want to be a vet anymore but I still love my fur babies they are like my children And I have um, my dogs. There's two of them. I have a German Shepherd and a Chihuahua. Chihuahuas are definitely little demons, but I do love mine, even if she is mean almost, almost all the time. Like, it doesn't fail. She's always mean. But I still love her. Um, but yeah, my big dog is outside. I wish she could be inside, but there's no way having cats that I could have a big dog inside would not work because she is a big fan of chasing down raccoons and stuff and if y'all don't remember seeing Ryder or if you haven't seen that video he resembles a raccoon a little bit he's long haired and I don't trust my dog so yeah um but now I'm rambling I don't know what else is important. Um, probably important why I got into makeup. When I was a kid, my best friend used to do my makeup all the time. And she still loves makeup. We talk about it pretty often. Um, and so when I was a kid, I didn't do my own makeup. Because anytime we did anything, she did my makeup for me. So I knew nothing about makeup. Um, but when I got to college, she got married, and I had to learn how to do my makeup all the way on my own. And I was in a sorority, so, you know, had to wear makeup. Can't be in a sorority, not wear makeup. I mean, you can. Don't, don't hear me on that. You really can. But, um, I had to wear makeup for events and stuff and whatever, so I had to learn about it. 
Um, but I was still terrible. Any of my sorority sisters who watch this can tell you about my infamous blue eyeshadow and overly lined everything. Like, I used to line my eyelids so much. It was absolutely tragic. Um, I'll eventually do one of those, like, how I used to do my makeup videos, but it's going to be horrible. Like, very possibly even worse than this is turning out right now. But... <clears throat> So after I graduated, um, all my friends moved and I stayed in the town I went to college in and I got bored. Like, I have a boyfriend here. Um, he's amazing, but you know, you gotta have something else and I'm really awkward and I don't know how to make friends in real life. So I don't really have too many friends that I hang out with since they all left me after college. I don't know how adults make friends. Like, I feel like that's awkward. I don't know how to do it. But, um, so, I had to find something to do to entertain me. And one of my best friends from high school had a YouTube, and he lived with me for a little bit right after I graduated. And I feel terrible, because I used to pick on him and tell him, oh, YouTube's dumb. Why are you doing that? We're grown-ups. Why would you make a YouTube? Right, so, uh, here I am. I have apologized. Um, he still has a YouTube too. But I basically just got really bored and I started spending money on makeup. And I was like, well, if I'm spending all this money on this makeup, why don't I just film myself putting it on and I bet people would watch me. And although not a lot of people watch me, I wasn't wrong. So that is how that happened. Um, yeah, and it really, it's just turned into like, this is the only place where I feel like I can be super honest and be myself. And I've gotten a couple of little hate comments here and again, but nothing too serious. Just a couple of trolls, you know. But nobody here really judges me says anything too mean and I like that I was bullied a lot as a kid so you know it's really cool to me to have a nice little community of people that actually like watching me that's crazy to me really but I like it um and I also like getting to know like a lot of other youtubers like when I do collabs and some of the groups I'm in for like YouTube support and advice and stuff. I love getting to know the other people on here because it's so fun. And then like working with brands and meeting other ambassadors and hearing their stories and stuff is absolutely incredible. One of my favorite things about YouTube. And of course, you know, like everybody else, if I could one day make this like my full time job. That would be amazing. I would not be opposed to it at all. I know I have a long way to go before that's going to happen, but girl's got a dream. And even if I know that's not anywhere in the super near future, I think I can make it happen. And I, I plan to eventually. But yeah, that is a little bit about like why I started and uh, what I, you know, do in my spare time. Because I mean, I, I've told y'all before, I work in an office. So I go to work from 8 to 5 every day. Then I go work out from 5.15 to 6.30. And then I come home, my boyfriend's not busy, we spend a little time together, whatever. Um, I film, obviously. Um, I watch a lot of Netflix, cuddle with cats on a very regular basis, that's important. Um, but yeah, I'm actually like a pretty, pretty boring person. Um, I live in a little bitty town, as everybody has figured out and pointed out. I'm from the South. Uh, I live in Arkansas. I don't think that's specific enough that I could get a stalker, nor do I think I would get one, but 
you know, you never know. But yeah, I live in Arkansas in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I do live in a, the town I went to college in. So, I mean, there's stuff here, but it's just not, not very big at all. Because I went to a smaller college. Not like community college small, but not real far off. <laughs> But it was, it was a good school, and this is a good little town to live in, maybe start a family in, you know, that kind of thing. <sighs> yeah, um, that's most of that. And then, mm, I don't know what else is important, y'all. I feel like, I'm just like really boring, so I don't, I don't know what y'all would want to know. Um, I think that's most of the basics about me though. Um, if y'all want to like know anything else, if you're not bored of my rambling at this point, you can comment like if you have questions and stuff, um, since I'm kind of injured, I'll probably do more talky stuff right now. And I kind of want to do more question and answer stuff in the future because I really want to get to know y'all like I've said before. And I want y'all to actually get to know me because I kind of realize that y'all don't know anything about me. Okay, so that's the one thing I can't do in talk, is I can't do lipstick. Um, yeah, I can't do that at all. I think I need to put a little bit of my Ofra in my inner corners. But, um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's, that's just a little bit about me. Uh, if anyone's curious, I know I have some people who do, like, always watch and comment, and I always see y'all down there, I promise. Uh, I respond to comments usually as quick as I can. I tend to schedule my videos for like while I'm at work. So sometimes answering comments has to wait a little bit. But I promise y'all, I see y'all down there and I appreciate it like way more than you know. Makes me feel so special and I've never, I'm gonna say I've never felt special, but I've never felt like people wanted to see me before. <laughs> but um, yeah, so. I'm gonna shut up. This is <laughs> absolutely tragic, but uh, oh, blend it just a little more, Florence. I think this is about as close as we are gonna get to that face chart for tonight, which I hate to even like leave y'all with a look this bad. But I just wanted to be sure that I got to talk to y'all a little bit, upload something. Uh, maybe y'all can get to know me a little bit better. Um, I will definitely leave uh, Milk's um, IG link in the description. But like, you know, I got the pink lids and the pink lips. Which this is, uh, <laughs> this is Dispatch by Crate Finds. Absolutely one of my favorite lippies, even if I feel inappropriate saying the word on my channel. But it is a beautiful color and I adore it. But like I disclaimed at the beginning, I'm not to be blamed. <laughs> this makeup is terrible. It's kind of hard to blend because this has like a metal plate in it. So I can't, can't move my hand the way I want to. But that is my attempt at recreating this face chart. That's a little bit about me that y'all don't no yet because I am a pretty private person but I definitely want to open up more about my personal life and kind of who I am because I mean this is a big part of my life right now and some people think it's silly but YouTube has been huge for me the past oh god like six eight months that I've been doing it so you know I want to share with y'all a little bit get to know y'all all that good stuff um, and y'all get to know me too because I feel like that's important and if you want to get to know me like for real for real follow my other social medias because I post on them like more personal stuff usually or at least more often like I try to post on everything every day um, and I have like a Facebook page for this as well I guess that's important <laughs> And also, that giveaway is still going because Crate Finds, we're almost up to 4,000 in their group. So we are almost to the end of the giveaway. If you want to get in it, get in it now. 
But yeah, this is a super long video. I'm really sorry that it is this long. Uh, I thought I would just chit chat a tiny bit, but I get carried away and I ramble all the time. So this is a long video. Sorry, guys. But I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you liked getting to know a little bit about me. If you never want me to do this again, tell me. But if you liked this, tell me down in the comments. Leave me some questions. I'll jot them down for next time. I'm going to go ahead and say nothing is off limits. If it's really terrible, I just won't put it in the video. But you can ask me anything you want to, and more than likely I will answer it next time I do one of these. Hopefully in like a week or two, since I can't do very good makeup. So we're going to focus on talking. <laughs> but I hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you on Saturday. Bye, you guys.